welcome to another little episode from the Matt Cave. Come to hang out with you guys a little bit, do a little update video. Wish you all a very happy St. Patty's Day weekend, if you guys celebrate that. Don't know what you guys do for St. Patty's Day. If you do anything, leave a comment down below. What are some of your St. Patrick's Day's traditions? I dress up in green, maybe have a green beer, always drink responsibly. You would think, when I lived in Scotland, you would think that there was like a massive celebration being a lot closer to Ireland, and there's a lot of Northern Irish people in Scotland when I lived in Scotland. Um, and literally when I was living there, St. Paddy's Day came and went, and I didn't hear anything about it. Nothing. St. Paddy's Day is kind of an American tradition. Another thing I did though for St. Paddy's Day, me and Ashley, we met up with some friends. Where were we? We were actually in St. Paul. We were in St. Paul. They had this big shindig going on. I forget what it was even called. We just met them to just have some fun. And um, there was actually some pretty cool stuff going on. So I wanted to kind of do this video uh, to kind of showcase some of the fun stuff we did. This was last weekend. Uh, just for fun, I'll sprinkle in some of those things on this episode here. Let's play some darts. Gotta get the old dartboard going. Boom. There it is. Ooh, yikes, look out. I'm gonna stick that right there, just because it's fun. If I hit it, sometimes sparks go everywhere. All right, play some darts here. See how I'm doing here on this round here. I love my dartboard, by the way. I have more fun with this dartboard. I come out here and just hang out. You guys throw darts? Do any of you guys have a, a, a quote unquote mat cave in your house? Maybe a basement, maybe a, a spare bedroom? Maybe a garage. I gotta say, it's been good for me. I haven't always had this type of space in my life. Um, for a long time, I rented places, and then me and my wife finally bought this place. Um, I used to have a townhome in Colorado that uh, I used to own, but I sold that a while ago. And um, I had, uh, I don't know, the whole place, I mean, that's when I was a bachelor, so the whole place was kind of like a mad cave, believe it or not. Uh, but that wouldn't fly right now, being married, that doesn't work. Which is awesome, I love married life. But it's nice to have your own little spot, you know, uh, to just throw some darts, hang out, make some YouTube videos. It's good to have your own little spot, your own little space. Whether you're a man or a woman, you have a man cave. If you're a woman, you can maybe have a woman. Is it a cave? Mat cave, man cave, bat cave. That dart didn't stick at all. <laughs> Anyways, um, do you have a space like this? What's in your mat cave? Or your man cave, or your, your space? Or maybe just a little section out in the garden? I've been watching on Netflix this show called um, Big Dreams and Small Spaces with Monty Don. <laughs> I found it and I just loved it. I started watching it and I couldn't stop watching it. I watched the whole season, it's on Netflix. This this guy who's a big gardener in the UK, his name is Monty Don. Uh, people just love this guy over there. And he goes to these like houses and stuff and helps them create gardens in their backyards and stuff. And I'm thinking I might wanna do that this year. I've got a little space, a little patio area, and I think I'm gonna make it into the lushest of gardens that I can. Green, green is on the way for St. Patty's Day. Green is almost here. In, in Minnesota, it is, it is white from the snow and it is brown and gray right now. But it's just like, and all along the side of the road is all the junk from all the winter long. It's muddy and mushy because the snow's melting. It's like, it's like mud wrestling competition out there, right? It's dirty. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to tell you about my, uh, some of the cool stuff I saw last week. So let's do that. Basically just hanging out with some friends and uh, some amazing bikers were there, like some BMX rad style bikers. These, these kids were, were doing flips and tricks and stuff right in the middle of a cross section. They had a big ramp set up and so I wanted to show you guys some of those stuff. So here's those dudes.
those guys. Yeah. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So those guys were kind of cool, right? The one dude just totally biffed though. Did I show you the guy? I don't think I showed you the dude who biffed. Watch this dude, he totally biffs it. Isn't that awesome? I love the word biff. Like, I biffed it so many times when I was a kid. I actually have a lot of footage of me and my cousin, my cousin Jed, riding bikes when I was younger. And I should I should really digitize all that footage if I could find it. Gosh, where have I put in that footage? We would wreck almost every time, and we got I got a lot of footage of me biffing it. That dude biffed it hard though, didn't he? But the ramp has a bunch of smooth padding on it, so that was kind of cool. What else did we do? Oh yeah, we were, we were watching one of these cover bands and um, all of a sudden, you know, it's a big tent and there's just packed tons full of people. And, and, and all of a sudden you hear in the fake distance, I'm like, oh, what's that? Is that the land of Scotland I hear coming towards me now? And I got like all excited and I got the jitters and I looked into the door and then through the door you could see the pipes coming. The pipers were coming and there was a line of bagpipers that proceeded into this chaotic mass of people. And they, they must have sensed that I love Scotland and stuff because they, they stopped right in front of me. It was awesome dude, no joke. They stopped right in front of me and they just proceeded to do their thing and like do the bagpipes. And then there was a, a dancer, like a traditional Irish dancer, um, a girl that was there with them doing their thing. So I thought I'd show you that too, because it was kind of cool. So here's that footage, it's kind of cool. Check it out. <laughs> to get real in here. Did their thing and then they took off like a good backpiper could do. 
I kind of, honestly, I kind of wanted one of them to faint and fall down because then I could just start yelling in the middle of a crowd. We've got a paper dune! There's a paper dune! By the way, what movie is that from? I just quoted a movie. You tell me the movie. And it's an amazing movie. If you haven't seen that movie, look at the comments below. If you don't know what the movie is, somebody I'm sure has told you by now. I will say the beginning of it is funnier than kind of the ending. It kind of goes But it's still good. Let's see if we can't hit this. Ooh, Ooh that's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, and we also played this game called Hammerschlagen, which I think the Matt Cave might need some Hammerschlagen. If you don't know what Hammerschlagen is, it's that you just stand around this big stump and you just pound nails into it. And whoever hits the nail in first, wins but they're not give they don't give you like a normal hammer I mean they do give you a normal hammer but the, they make you use the back end of the mallet slash hammer kind of thing and it's about that thick and so you have to hit the nail right on for it to go on and you just end up missing a bunch and the first time it went around I hit it once and got it almost down the first time everybody missed theirs and I hit mine like that and then I didn't hit it again for like 10 rounds because I don't know lucky lucky first strike I guess that was kind of cool Check this out though, this is kind of cool. Here's some footage from that. done a lot better with a hammer like this. I could hit it once and it'd be in. But as it is, it was a really thin thing, so it was really quite hard to do. Anyways, we had some fun though. It was fun. So, ta -ta 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 -ta. It's harder for me to do the Irish accent. The Irish accent's a bit more like this, I think. You know, it's, uh, I'm not quite sure how to explain it. And the Northern Irish, the Northern Irish have a very different accent than the Southern Ireland. And it, it sounds different than the Scottish, which is more like this. And then the Irish accent is more a bit like this, I suppose. But it's all good. So we'll play a little bit of Jenga, which is always fun. We went to a microbrewery uh, where the green beer was flowing and uh, we played a little bit of Jenga. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. Oh. Wow, he's taking the drink. In the invisible beard. Jonathan, um, just us, but every once in a while they come close enough to us that we can hang out with them. So if you guys watch this video, how's it going, guys? Um, man, that was not a bad little toss part thing I did right there. Whatever you guys end up doing for St. Patty's Day, if you do nothing else, you know, I have never seen the movies Leprechaun. There's like Leprechaun 1, 2, 3, and 4. I don't even know how many of them there are. 
I'm thinking maybe for St. Patty's Day this year, which is Saturday, I might have to rent me one of those Leprechaun movies. Probably not, not gonna lie. You know who I think's in that? I think Jennifer Aniston is in that. Has anybody ever seen the original Leprechaun movie? Uh, you should leave a comment below and let me know on a scale of one to 10. Is it good, is it bad, should I watch it for St. Patty's Day or should I not? I don't know. I got some mail real quick here to you. A guy named Steve sent me some stickers. Matt, just a quick note. You're awesome, thank you. You're awesome for sending me mail. Love your videos and can't wait to see more of your Scotland trip, um, which I've already uploaded, so you probably have already seen that. Also can't wait to see your VW bus dream come true. I believe you sent this uh, letter to me a while ago, and I'm just now kind of getting it. And the 80s, oh, talking about the 80s, one movie out he suggests is the movie Rad. Absolutely, dude. The movie Rad, BMX movie is so good. Uh, he sent me some stickers here. They remind him of the garbage pail kids from the 80s. Hope you like them. All the best, keep up the great work. Thanks, Steve. Um, so awesome, thanks Steve. I appreciate you sending me these. And these are kind of awesome. They're, they're actually just like garbage pail kids. They're actually pretty cool. Moldy Milk is one of them. His name is Moldy Milk. Moldy Milk. This one is Off Cheese. <laughs> this one is Sour, what is it? Sour Snail. Mm-hmm, sour snail. And of course, we've got a wasted banana. So thank you, thank you Steve for sending me those. I'm definitely gonna add these to the Matt Cave and I actually have some Garbage Pail Kids. I used to collect them when I was a kid and then I, I don't know what happened to them. And then I was recently at a Comic Con and I found some again, I, I bought some. Also at Walmart, This la literally this last week, I'm not joking, this last week I walked, they're in the DVD section of Walmart is the original Garbage Pail Kids movie. It came out in like 1987. It's a horrible movie, but I bought it. Because it's $3.74, I think, to be exact. And, and I watched it, and it was so bad. And so good. <laughs> At the same time. I don't suggest watching it, but if you do, and you love 80s movies, I don't know if you'll like it or not. It's so bad. But it's actually pretty good. I think that movie might have killed Garbage Pail Kids. Um, I don't know, remember hearing much of them after the 80s, so maybe they'll do a reboot <laughs> or just a redo would be more like it. All right, one more quick go with the dartboard. Two more exciting things that have come up here on the Matt Show. One is literally last night, I got a text message from a guy over at Aimless Adventures um, and I won. Oh nice, I just hit it again. I won a skateboard on his channel, on his YouTube channel. Only seven people commented on this video that he posted, and he's got this sweet, awesome skateboard that this dude made for him. And and it's and I won. I won. He's got a video up. Go watch that video. Tell him that's Red Show sent you. Subscribe to his channel. I'm sure he's gonna do more giveaways in the future. So so thanks, Aimless Adventure Vlog. And uh, I told him I put it in the Matt Cave. So. I used to skateboard a lot, but it's been a long time. Oh yeah, the dude who made this artwork over here, that his name is Jamie Coker, um, and I did, I did a thing, go watch my Comic-Con vlog, I did a little spiel about him. I met him at the, comic, at the last Comic-Con event, and we started talking and stuff, and uh, he agreed to do some artwork for my channel, and so he's gonna do kind of like a cool, actually he's already done it, he's already done a cool a logo slash artwork for me that I'm gonna be using on the channel here shortly, pretty soon. Uh, it'll be coming here in, this, in the short future. So some cool stuff happened on Matt's Rad Show. We won a skateboard and we got a new logo coming up. Some cool stuff, I'm all done with the Scotland videos. I'm all done with that footage, feels so good. Actually, I do have some more footage that I didn't edit from Scotland, but I don't know what to do with it. It's basically just probably about a 20 minute vlog of just driving through some really beautiful Scottish country, so. I might upload that at some point, I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways guys, um, send me some more mail, and I hope you have a great St. Patty's Day. I hope I have helped you celebrate St. Patty's Day today. Oh, with my wee Scottish accent, which has nothing to do with St. Patrick. St. Patrick's from Ireland. How about some random trivia about St. Patrick? St. Patrick was once asked, he was trying to tell people about God and about this new religion of Christianity, and, and he was like trying to get permission, I think, and he was trying to describe to the king of the time, I'm totally paraphrasing this, I don't really know exactly who he was talking to at the time, one of the, the Ir Ir Ireland's lords, or whatever, and, and he said, describe to me how can God be three in one, you know, the Trinity. 
You know, how can God be three in one? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. How can God be three in one? And St. Patrick supposedly picked up a clover, picked up a, a nice green clover with three, you know, leaves. Clovers all have three leaves, unless it's looking then it's got a four leaf clover. Three leaves, and he said, well, this clover right here has three leaves, one, two, three, and it's three, but it's also one. And so it is with the Spirit and the Son and the Father. And the person said, all right, you may go and you may, you may talk to people about this God of yours. <laughs> and that's how, um, I guess the Catholic, you know, faith, Christianity spread to Ireland. And that was St. Patrick. And so now we drink beer <laughs> to celebrate that, which is kind of funny. Uh, so if you're drinking some green beer this St. Patty's, have fun with that. Uh, drink responsibly always. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me on Matt's Ride Show here. And we will see you next time. Love you guys. Happy St. Patty's Day. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.